Assalamualaikum semua. Alright, okay. So, selamat salam Dr. Raini. Okay, so I will start uh, the session for today. So, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, to everyone, especially the students of KNMS. So, uh, this evening, insyaAllah, we will start our third KNMS Town Hall for this semester. So, before we start our session today, so let's begin our session with Umul Kitab Al-Fatiha. Alright, so uh, for the introduction, I will keep it short since I believe the main priority is for students to ask their concern and their issue. So with me today is our, de our deputy dean Students Development and uh, Community Engagement, Dr. Iziani, and our Deputy Dean of Academic Affairs and Internalization, Prof. Dr. Noraini. So without any further ado, I think we should start straight away to the student's question. So uh, I believe if any students want to raise their issue or their concerns, you may raise your, your questions. If none, then I will uh, I will ask the the our deputy dean based on the questions that we received beforehand. So, is there any question from our students? <coughs> so I believe. Okay, so I will I will ask. The questions they received beforehand, uh, Actually, I have a question. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's ready. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for this meeting. Firstly, uh, I am from Turkey, and I couldn't come to Malaysia for face-to-face -face classes. And uh, if there is uh, more problem about my visa, uh, can I uh, join online final exams? Because I am too stressful, I am too hesitant about my visa documentation process. Uh, I would like to ask that uh, if I faced a more pr uh, problem about my visa documentation process, can I uh, join online final exams? Can you please cl cl uh, clarify? <laughs> Yeah, any you can start to answer first and then I can add later. Okay. Uh, so uh, Brother Ahmed, hi, nice to meet you. Uh, regarding um, how examinations are going to be conducted, it's similar to how um, the arrangement for classes, everything goes uh, and it must be relayed directly to your instructor because at the end of the day, final examinations would be if it's a multiple sections, all the lecturers who are teaching that session will congregate. So the questions would be similar and they would have a discussion among themselves. So at the end of it, during towards the end of the semester, when it's nearing the final examination, so all the lecturers would, of course, compare how many students of theirs they're overseas, who aren't be able to come. So obviously, if you're not the only one, you know, we would, of course, accommodate those who truly have genuine reasons for not being able to come back. So yes, but for those students who are in Malaysia, who are yeah, normally the local students, they are required to come back. So there's no question of, can I do exam online? Everything must be discussed with your lecturers. So of course, at the end of it, they are the ones going to prepare. They are the ones who's going to be um, invigilating together with the academic unit. So yes, you have to inform them. Is it clear? Is it okay, Brother Ahmed? Yeah, madam, thank you so much for response. I understand that it is. it depends on lecture, right? What course are you talking about? All your lectures. Uh, right? So most yeah. of your classes, there are multiple sections, right? Yes. Yeah, so you can understand, yeah. not, not only your section, only you abroad. <laughs> there are so many other sections and so many students <laughs> abroad. So you get the thing. Uh, so inshallah, there will be uh, means. But I think uh, Prof. Noraini would like to add anything. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you, Mala. The has also answered your question, I believe, but I just would like to add that, as mentioned by the Tiziani as well, when there are multiple sessions for the course, then the exam will be still be the same because we are going to have the same final exam for all the course, uh, no matter how many sessions the course are. 
but then we will, uh, I mean, the lecturers will be able to accommodate those who are not able to come here. So the exam will be done at the same time, but we will have two, uh, perhaps two, uh, uh, two mode. One will be the physical mode, where the student will have will be I mean, doing the exam physically or face to face, and the other one at the same time we will also uh, arrange the uh, the Zoom mode or the I mean the virtual mode where the student who are not able to be here will also be taking the the same exam at the same time but with the additional uh, time for the submission. So that's what we can do. Uh, and again, uh, you have to uh, contact your individual lecturers for you to get the mode of the final exam. Okay, Brother Ahmad, I hope that okay. I can, I mean, I have clarified more things for you. <laughs> Madam, thank you so much. I was really stressful about this situation. You clarified very clear. Thank you so much, Madam. Yeah, but you need to communicate your lecturer because you have yeah. to your lecturer that you have this visa issue because we we did comedy we do comedy com accommodate those who have this traveling and also health restriction for not for them not to come back to the university to 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 learn and also to take the exam later. But with the evidence, we need the evidence for that. Actually, madam, I I want to come to Malaysia. I really miss IIM, but the problem is visa. Uh, my first purpose is. Uh, getting my new, new visa as soon as possible, but I cannot uh, get a new visa. Uh, you clarified. I can online. I can join online. Thank you so much, Madam. Okay. All right. So thank you, Brother Ahmad, for the questions. So moving forward, is there any questions they want to ask? They want to be raised by the students. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, wa alaikum salam, brother Hassan. Uh, sorry, I, I, I just joined uh, the meeting, so I am not sure whether you are asking if there are any questions regarding the same matter or other different matters. No, no, no. Actually, we just started uh, with the first question by brother Ahmad. So I believe you can raise your concerns to the, our deputy dean. Okay, thank you very much uh, for giving me the time and the space. Uh, thanks a lot uh, to you, Brother Hamirol, and also Madam Aziani, Madam Nuraini. Uh, thank you very much for uh, listening to the students' concerns. Uh, and uh, I'd like to br briefly uh, explain my case. Uh, okay, so hopefully I will not take much time. Please let me know if I am taking much time. All right. <laughs> okay. So uh, my case is basically that uh, I am a final uh, a final year student, BBS student. And uh, just to, so, uh, so you know, uh, actually it's not only my case, it's the case of many students. I already know seven students who have the same case, even though I have not looked enough for those uh, students, I just met them accidentally and they have the same case as me. I am a final year student and uh, this is uh, the next semester on October, inshallah, is gonna be my eighth semester, okay? So I think it is normal for a student to graduate after eight semesters. So uh, basically I, I have 25 credit hours left. And uh, this 25 credit hours is inclusive of this semester and the next semester. So I was planning to take the internship during the short semester, okay? And uh, based on my knowledge uh, in the past few years, uh, many of my friends have done their internship before finishing all courses, okay? So here's the thing. I know there is now uh, the rule. I am not very sure if it has been ex activated now or uh, there is no more acceptance for exceptional cases and for those who are uh, suffering uh, by, uh, by th this rule. Uh, the thing is, uh, I am suffering because uh, I am required to finish all courses before, before doing the internship. And this will require me to extend my study for one extra long semester and uh, delay my, my graduation. So I would like to know, uh, and uh, I mean, my question to Madame Ziani, Madame Nuraini, uh, if it's possible for cases that are going to suffer uh, in terms on, on fin uh, fi financially and also in terms of like the lacking of time. So would it be okay for certain cases after explaining all the consequences that's going to happen to this case? 
to allow to allow students to take the practical training before finishing all courses. Uh, you, uh, I think you might be uh, aware of this matter before I uh, tell it to you. Uh, I just uh, I just want to know uh, how it can be solved and how students can be helped uh, with this matter. Thank you very much for uh, listening to me. Hopefully, if there is any uh, clarification needed, please let, let me let me clarify further. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, thank you for the question. I I believe that you are the one who emailed me, is it? Uh, regarding the internship? Or, yeah. um, yes, exactly. And uh, sorry for uh, annoying you. <laughs> okay, I think what I can respond to your question. Uh, I mean, the department will have to to deliberate your issue because each department will have their own uh, practical training coordinator as well as the head of department. So I really hope that you will be able to discuss with the HOD of Department of Business Administration for your case because Kulia will not be having a specific uh, ruling for that. Each department, I mean the department and all the four departments normally they have also the ruling for the internship. Like for accounting, uh, the, it's a bit different because the student will have to do the practical, practical training before the end, before their final SEM. Uh, and business will have different ruling for that business students. So we leave it, I mean, Julia will leave it to the department to, to decide on case to case basis. And I have communi communicated your, your, your issue to Dr. Dolhadi, the head of the Department of Business Administration. I hope that you can also uh, uh, share with him your issue and then try to discuss with him you know, what you can do with regard to the issue. So I think that will be department level, not really the kulah level to to handle your case, lah, uh, Bhatti Hassan. Uh, thank you so thank you thank you so much. Uh, I honestly in the uh, in the past two weeks, I have met uh, the uh, Madam Salwani, the coordinator of the our internship in BBA. I have also met with my academic advisor, uh, Madam Zairina. I have also met with Dr. Dalhadi, the head of department. Okay. Uh, I have spoken to all of them, uh, and honestly, all of them have shown some empathy towards my case because of the bad consequences that's going to happen to me if my case is not uh, accepted to take yeah. the training. Uh, I also offered, I, I, I told them, even I am prepared to take 25 credit hours within this semester, even though it's going to be very difficult. It's going to make my CGPA suffer. It's gonna, I will not even learn properly. But that option for me, is more is more applicable than extending my study. Unfortunately, even after I delivered my uh, my case to all of what uh, who, uh, those who I, I have mentioned, unfortunately they sh they have shown some empathy. But Madame, uh, I mean, uh, I I don't want to mention names. Anyways, uh, I I mean uh, my uh, my case has been uh, rejected. Fully. And they told me there is almost no way. But I don't, I, I still cannot understand. I mean, would it be harmful for anybody if I take my practical training in the short semester? Would it be, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know the logic or uh, I don't have any argument that makes me understand why I cannot do it. If there are so many co bad consequences happening to me, uh, if I can do it. And uh, my case is not the first. I mean, in the last year, many of, uh, some of my friends have done the practical training before taking all courses. So I, I'm just wondering if there is like some yeah. argument that con can convince me why it would be impossible for me to take it in the short uh, semester, then I would be convinced and I will just agree, but I cannot find yet. Okay, so, let me let me discuss with the, the Department of Business Administration with regard to your case first. And then, okay. I mean, I'm not able to guarantee or to, to promise you anything, but I will try my best to discuss and get their reason why, uh, I mean, why they are not allowing you to do your particular training before the end of, I mean, before you complete everything for your, for your studies. So, I mean, let me discuss first and then we will communicate to you later because we are not able to discuss and get the solution today. And during this town hall, I do we're going to use the whole one hour only to discuss your case. So I don't think Dr. Izani and Brother Akbar will allow that. So perhaps we can also take some time and then let me give me the I mean 
uh, the the opportunity to discuss with Dr. Dohadi, Dr. Salwani, and also maybe Dr. Zai, Zarina, mm -hmm. and we communicate to you later. Okay. I really appreciate your efforts and your time. Uh, I mean, since the beginning, since you are offering uh, this chance to listening to students, we really appreciate it. And I'm sure uh, everyone here is trying to solve uh, to solve problems, not making them. And uh, I really, I, I would love to help as much as I can. And uh, thank you so much for your time. I, I guess we will just stay in touch uh, later. Uh, so thank you for the time and uh, sorry for the inconvenience for everyone. All right, so thank you, Brother Hassan, for your questions. Thank you, I Brother. Believe, I believe you may uh, refer back or update with uh, Dr. Nuraini later or Dr. Dolhadi. Perhaps, uh, sorry to interrupt, Brother Hamirul. Um, yeah. Perhaps to ease also Dr. Nuraini's uh, discussion with the Department of Business Administration. Perhaps if it's possible, you compile uh, those who have similar issues with you, Hassan. Then perhaps, you know, um, I don't know. Because, of course, looking from the administration point of view, I think I understand why they're not allowing you. Because when you're mentioning in the past, it happened. Those people that happened were the exception. You get what I mean? And it might be still with Dr. Salwani. That is why she's not allowing it again. There must be, an, you know, sometimes when these things happen, you need to ask that person who is in charge why. You know? uh, yeah, so I guess, I don't know. But again, let's just give um, a chance for um, uh, the the Kulia to maybe have a meeting with the department. Yeah, of, of course, inshallah. And uh, I'll try to, I, I mean, I understand. Uh, yeah. uh, only exceptional just, cases. Just collect are... those students and we will see. Because I'm sure they have the reasons. Either they don't relate to you. But I guess of course. Should. Okay. Of course, Madam Aziani, thank you so much. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to elaborate more in some appeal form. So I don't waste the time now. And uh, okay. I'll bring my friends who also have the same problem. Thank and you. Have a list. Uh, communicate with uh, Prof. Nani. Is that okay, uh, Prof. Nani? It's, um, yeah. it's this, uh, I think I think Brother Hassan has communicated with me anyway. I mean, this oh, issue. But, uh, the I'm others. Yet, uh, I'm yet, I mean, he also compiled a few names as well in the group to, to also having the same issue with him. But I'm yet to, to, to discuss uh, further lah with the department. And as I mentioned to you, I cannot guarantee or promise you anything, Brother Hassan. Okay, so we try to see and we can, I mean, we try our best like, to assist you in this matter. Of course, of course. Uh, I am not saying there is any, uh, like, I am uh, I am with the rule and Madame Salwani is wrong. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying solving my problems and some other exceptional cases will not harm anybody. So it's what I'm looking for is your understanding and empathy. And I'm not saying the administration is wrong, of course. Yeah. So okay. thank you very much for your time. I uh, really appreciate it. Thank you, Brother okay. Rahamirul. Thank you. Right. So thank you. So <clears throat> moving forward, is there any questions that want to be raised by the students? If not, I will ask based on the questions that we received beforehand. So I believe no for now. So, okay. So one of the questions and inquiries that we received from the students regarding the manual process for add and dropping subject. I believe this this uh this issue have been listened by Dr. Norani many of times. So maybe Dr. Norani can clarify during this on on the process to add and drop and maybe a few information about that. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Brad Akpa, for that uh, issue. Uh, yes, I think my office has been receiving a lot of questions with regard to this add and, add and drop process. Uh, but I think when we have this uh, online registration, so there'll be no more add, lah. I mean, there's, there's been no more manual for adding the subject now because you have to do everything online. And we try our best not to entertain students that, requ that request for the manual registration for adding the subjects. Because by right, if you read the requirement, then you should know that you have to pre-register everything. And then if the section closed, then you can also reserve the class and so on. So that be the process that the student must follow during the prereq. Okay, so that's for add. For dropping the subject, I think if you read the, I mean, the, I mean, if you refer to the calendar of the university uh, issued by Ahmad, you'll be able to see there'll be dates for you to also drop the subjects. Okay, so from week one and uh, from I think until this week, 
they still free uh, withdrawal and you can just go through i mean go to the website of amat and then download the the form there be a form ug03 for you to to fill in and then email to 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 the kuliah for you to drop for free until friday this week okay so after that start week 5 until week 10 you have to pay 300 ringgit for you to withdraw the subject you still have to you have to fill in the form that for the I mean, in the Ahmad website as well, for you to drop after week four. Then from week 11 to week 14, there'll be 500 ringgit charge for withdrawing the subject. So please do, I mean, please follow that that uh, timeline for you to drop. Otherwise, you have to pay a big, huge amount of money for you to drop. And I believe the student know the important dates for undergraduate because the important dates for undergraduate issued by Ahmad will give you the date for the uh, for the prereq, for on online registration, for you to apply leave of absence, and then for you to change status, register to audit. So everything in that particular calendar will have the dates. So please always refer to this calendar for you to know when is the time for you to drop, and then what's the, when is the uh, the prereq withdrawal and so on. So that's what I would like advise, when I would advise the students to do like, for the dropping uh, for withdraw all the subject like that's for your for drop part okay uh brother akbar so i'm not sure whether i've answered your question but that what we have i mean the policy or the process need to be done at the kuliah level all right so thank you dr raini uh, so i would like to clarify once again for the adding of the subject since we are currently in online mode so the kuliah will not entertain any of the manual cost manual for adding cost and then regarding to dropping the cost uh, this is the last week that you can drop the cost for free if not uh, you will burn 300 ringgit just to drop a cost so yeah, yeah. to drop the cost you need to uh, download the form of UG03 UG03 I repeat once again UG03 in the Ahmad website so and then email it to the respective kuliah so thank you, Dr. Raini, for answering the questions. So you have, sorry, Akbar, you also have UG05 for uh, after deadline. So within deadline, we have uh, UG, UG3, UG4, UG5. So there's a lot of form that you can download from mm. the my website. Yeah, all right. So okay, so anything, anything, any forms can be accessible in the Ahmad forms, the Ahmad website. Uh, the thing that you need to do is just uh, to find it. So thank you, Dr. Naraini. So moving forward, is there any questions that need that want to be raised by the by the students? So if not, I will ask uh, the questions that I received beforehand. No questions. All right. So moving forward, uh, the next questions that we receive by the students is the transfer credit for the direct intake. Of course, it's also a, a big issue. So maybe you can clarify on that. Let me find my, my, my document on that. Right. Okay, for the transfer credit for the direct intake, what I mean, what you can do because you are from the because in, in if you read the SAPIR, which is the ruling for the student with regard to the I mean uh, student uh, activity or student exam for the university, there be horizontal transfer and also vertical transfer. So horizontal is within the same qualification, but when we talk about direct intake, it's more on the vertical, meaning that lower qualification to the university level. Okay, so in that in that uh, document, you can see that the you can only transfer maximum of thirty percent of the credit hours requirement of the program of the study. So you cannot transfer more than thirty percent. That's the first requirement. And the transfer, the transfer, the transferable courses must fulfill the following condition. Number one, you must pass with a good grade. Okay, for that particular course in your diploma level, for example. Number two, you have a course outline that at least 80% equivalent to the course offered by the center of studies. So we will map your course outline with the course that you apply for the credit transfer. And the total subject, sorry, total topics in that particular course online must at least eighty percent equivalent to the course in the uh, kuliah. 
only you can get the transfer credit and of course must be from accredited program. And normally we can only allow the first year courses to be transferred, not the fourth year, third year and so on. So please do not apply credit transfer for third year and fourth year courses. I just received today, the student is applying for the credit transfer for level three, level four. And he's a, he or she is applying for 16 subjects for credit transfer. So I think he, he or she has listed 16 courses from the previous program and trying to apply for 16 subjects in the kulia for the credit transfer. We can only process the first year subjects only. The one, one lah, start with the one, not the three and four and so on. So that's what I can answer so far with regard to that issue of credit transfer for their intake. Okay. All right, so thank you, Dr. Narayani for the clarifications. So, uh, uh, any, 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 this, by the way, this session will be recorded and will be posted later. So any of the students who want to, to, to watch back any of the clarification made by both of our deputy dean, you can access it anytime and anywhere. So uh, next questions. Is there any next questions by the students? Because I believe Dr. Narayani needs to leave at 6.30. <laughs> I'm still at the end I'm, I'm still at the end my office. So I'm, I oh. want to go back now before 7. <laughs> I can reach home before 7. So that's why I plan to, re, to go back about 6.30. So I, I have two more minutes. So two more minutes if you want to ask me a question. Anything? Right. So I have a short uh, question. Yeah. How many credits can we get uh, for uh, third semester for short semester? Only six. Six, yeah. Maximum six, six credit hours every short term. Okay, okay. Thank you, madam. All right, so any, uh, thank you, brother. So next questions. But, but mm -hmm. I can join in my car later, so just, mm -hmm. <laughs> I can do <laughs> <shit. laughs> it. <laughs> <Thank Quite dangerous. laughs> no, it's okay. You, uh, the phone, okay. So, never mind, we will wait uh, for the questions. If not, maybe, if not, is there no any questions received by the students? Maybe we can end our session earlier, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Just wondering whether you have any, I mean, I mean, what is your experience uh, for this semester so far? Hmm. Hybrid and also with physical, any any issue you want to raise to us, a quick one? So far, so good. I'm assuming that is it? I believe I received one question by the students in terms of the technicalities. Hmm. Maybe a few of the online students felt neglected. <laughs> Because of course the the physical extra need to uh, assist the, the physical students first. Maybe some of them feel that they are, the lecturer are not giving them enough attention during the class. But maybe you have any any idea or any advice on that? Yeah, I think I can understand that point because I also keep uh, standing and sitting during my class when in front of my laptop because I'm doing Zoom at the same time then. But, some, I mean, but then I did also ask the those in my Zoom platform, like, are you still with me, any questions? So at least we have also to engage them in the class, like, that what we can do at the moment based on what we have. Uh, so I don't know, different lecture, we have different mode of teaching and so on. So I think we cannot generalize, I mean, we cannot standardize the way of teaching for all lecturers. Because I give, uh, we, I mean, Kulia give flexibility also to all lecturers to conduct the classes for the semester. As long as there be some face-to-face -face components, as well as the student can also follow all the courses. So I think the student need to communicate to individual lecturer like that that issue, and then try to get them to to to, to be aware about their 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 being oh, they neglected and so on in in the class. Okay. All right. So thank you, Dr. Narayani. I believe right now it's already six to three. <laughs> Okay. You, you you can you can leave the session inshallah i i can leave the session i mean i i, I would like to leave the session now but inshallah I, I will try my best to listen from my 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 phone later yeah, inshallah. Okay. all right thank you Dr. Okay. Thank, you. thank you so much all, all the best for your semester for this semester so i think it's very interesting to meet you even virtually 
hopefully when day we can have town uh, town hall uh, physically insyaallah <laughs> insyaallah okay thank you assalamualaikum salam right so uh I believe. Yeah, if, if I may suggest uh, for those who feel neglected to can yeah that's one of the downsides lah of hybrid classes I have to admit uh, so because I myself personally am not a fan of hybrid lessons uh, because I do understand sometimes whatever is being written on the board those at home may not be able to see what because it's really far and yeah those are among the challenges yeah so if I may suggest to those who are at home who are perhaps feeling a bit neglected then maybe you can arrange or ask for a consultation can i'm sure every lecturer has their consultation period uh, but do inform some lecturers yes they have a fixed consultation so you don't have to set appointment you can just drop in and i think now the trend is having a zoom consultation i don't know at least that's what i'm doing with my class um, but if your lecturers don't have that you can email them. can i have a virtual consultation because i need to ask a certain thing so they'll be more than happy to entertain you uh, just let them know when you want to meet them so they can uh, you know include you in their slots okay because yeah, it would be difficult lah, because all of us we are not trained you know for this hybrid thing most of us we are trained for physical classes so we um inshallah most of us we actually teach better uh you know face to face so it has been quite a challenging two years in the past two years for us to be teaching using whatever mode that we're using so now you can just imagine how excited everyone is that uh, we can actually teach back face to face but we do understand the restraints that some students cannot come back due to traveling restrictions and which is entirely not their fault but yeah you know it, this is some of the teething problems and challenges that we try try our best to uh face together but yeah still keep keep in coming if you have any issues couple you can please share uh, with mcs and they normally will share it to me and i will of course inform to uh, the other lecturers okay right so thank you dr Yuzini. isn't there any questions because just now we are uh, focusing more to academic related matters maybe this time for the students development matters it's always academics totally <laughs> understand when i was a academic advisor the problem has always been academics yeah. Courses, la, registration, la, because that's the whole deal again, most of the time. If yes. your academics is happy, then by right, the welfare should follow. La. It's it's normally like that. All right, so if any questions, if there are no any, question, any questions, maybe me from the representative from MSAS, maybe we can share a little bit on our progress right now. So I believe... Uh, Hello, my name is Mom Amir Akbar. So right now, there are a few concerns or progress that have been made by MSS. Uh, one of it, eh, one of it is the in terms of the infrastructure of the kuliah. Of course, I believe uh, the, the 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 biggest issue that received by the students, especially the female students, is the female musola. The female musola is, I think. Today, I received like three comments regarding the female musola, and we have discussed this matter with, with Dr. Iziani. And inshallah, uh, we will try our best to, to pressure the development center as they are the one who is responsible in terms of the welfare of the facilities in IUM. So, if there are no, uh, there are no actions made by them, inshallah, we will made our own actions in terms of maybe we can uh, fundraise to, to improve the, the musallah or maybe we can have uh, the discussion with the dean or in terms to, to use the kuliah funds uh, in advance. Yeah. That is the first thing regarding the female musallah. The next thing is regarding the bridge, the, the yellow roof bridge. That is one thing that we are trying to figure it out. We have reported it so many times, not only once, and not only during Dr. Gary times, mm -hmm. even before the Pasnudin times, we already reported. But there are no, there are still no action being made by them. So inshallah, we will also pressure them uh, regarding that matters. And then next things is regarding the icons cafe. I believe many of the students are not satisfied with that. Because even me myself are not satisfied with the with the services made by them, so I believe many students uh, tend 
to go to the SKP to have their lunch or even uh, evoke cafe to have their lunch. So I have discussed with the tender. Uh, inshallah, there are more stalls will be opened, but of course they need times in terms of the costing, in terms of the 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 workers that they need to recruit first. So inshallah, uh, from time to time it will be improved. But of course, we all will we will always listen to the concerns raised by the students. And then next is regarding the Umas Jatra Hall. So hereby I want to clarify that there are no uh, brother musola anymore in the second floor. The all of the brother can can pray at the Umas Jatra Hall. Right now there is the, the official musola the NMS. Ah, uh, well, sister also you can use it as well perhaps during taraweh later in during uh, the month of ramadan we will have a lot of programs ritual or uh, training program in the umas that is uh, that is one of our our project and then next is we will have our career week inshallah in the early may so that is one of the interesting project that have been made by mcs inshallah we are looking forward for the students to join us. We have collabs with CCSC. So, yeah, inshallah, it will benefit the students. I think I, I took a lot of time regarding explaining regarding this. So, moving forward, is there any questions from the students? Maybe you have something that you are not satisfied in terms of the lecturers. Um, Assalamualaikum. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Mr. President. Uh, can I raise uh, an issue? Um, yes, yes. Uh, regarding the class, the researcher class, my issue is um, some of the classes projected in terms of their visibility is quite not clear. Like some of the projects uh, inside the class itself, uh, the visibility are not really clear. So it makes hard for 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 the classes like you want to see that on the project uh, like it's not very clear can it be done on the project uh? can something be done with it is any can you hear it not really yes. i see the projector though uh, but yes. speaking of projectors i have been informed that whatever you're seeing now are the improved ones as sad as that may be it was even worse before uh, but anyway, it would be nice to maybe to know the specific venues, maybe um, if you can have a list and, and I can check the project because there have been venues that they've changed the projectors. So these venues are not yet considered. Good. I mean, inform. Right. So, ready to try. Does that answer your questions? Yeah, yeah, that answers my questions. Uh, to be specific, the classes in uh, L level 4.8, I think LR 4.8 is very poor in conditions. Okay, that's very all of me. Thank you for the answer, Madam and Mr. President. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, it's always right, been. So, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Brother Itra. Uh, for... <laughs> Inshallah, we will raise uh, this concern. Is it to our technician, Yeah. Our technician, ke? I can ask Brother Sham. I mean, he's oh. just the one that's overseeing because, as you know, he's also our SLO. He's yeah. also in charge of our website. So you can imagine <laughs> the kind of he's running around here. But well, I can ask him, like, if because um, before before the semester started, they have, they, they went around um, the Kulia to change projectors and laptop, uh, sorry, computers and whatnot. But yeah, I, I do admit that some of the projectors too could be better. Lah. But again, we're all um, constrained eh? Physic financially, yeah, physically, too, financially as well. But uh, I'll see what we, we can do. Yeah, but I've heard, I've heard, because I've never taught at the level four. Because I'm econ's lecturer, so uh, econ students, and we're quite lucky. We're always in the first level and second level. Right? Alhamdulillah, so far okay. Lah. Then I think it goes by level. Lah. So I think um, accounting students, BBA students are always the level three and level four. Kind of, it goes that way. Uh, so that's why I, I don't have experience teaching at level four, but I'll try to ask. Okay? All right, so thank you, Brother Itra, for the questions. 
Uh, so I believe I also believe the facilities in KNMS are, are not currently are below the park, but of course by by time we will improve our facilities. Right, so next questions. Maybe by our sisters, because previously our brothers have asked. Do you have any questions? I believe right now, of course, the 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 questions received by uh, on this town hall are not as many as the previous town hall. <laughs> so I hope that. Uh, to be a good thing. I mean, uh, obviously, we don't want students to be facing so many problems again. So, uh, uh, otherwise, it, it looks like uh, we're not progressing. So, I think it's a good thing if there are no questions. But if there are, do share. We will try our best to help those that we can help. Like certain so, things. No, I mean, many students don't know, right? Like certain things mm -hmm. like the infrastructure, the, the bridge thing. Uh, I know, I know some students think it's all under Kulia. I wish it is. So it'll be much easier and faster for us to get them fixed. Uh, unfortunately, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, uh, true. So I, uh, I have yeah. a question. Yes. Uh, it's more like a, not a question, but uh, recently we, I was discussing with the MSAS itself. So uh, regarding the pre-registration, pre uh, the names of the lecturers like are not assigned when the students are registering for the subjects. And they appear after we have uh, after we have registered or uh, when it comes to a close so regarding that issue is it uh, uh, from the kulia of K K K uh, camps or is it from the um, uh, from the ahmad office or how is it okay i can share the history why that came into place yeah brother okay. mas okay the thing uh, is the lecturers <laughs> names are not shown only for first year courses only for first year, specifically first year, first, first year courses can young four subjects too. Because more, everything not shown. Last yeah, time everything we don't. Oh, because last oh. time the understanding was for before lah, as in last year when uh, the deputy dean of academics was the previous tenure. Previous tenure, it started in the previous tenure. Okay, so the agreement was only for the first year courses because those were the sections that had mass lectures and many students had to take. So anyway, the reason I, I, I have been told, eh, the reason why they started that is because of this. Um, again, there's no right or wrong, depending on how you look at it. Of course, students would like to choose sections, right? Some choose sections because of the time and the day. Some students choose because they hear from the seniors, this lecture is lenient, whatever. Some hear that this lecture is good, whatever. So yes, obviously there will be favorites, right? So those classes will be full, max to the brim. And what happened is, which is fine. But then what happened is during the, uh, you know, add and drop thing, they will pressure these lecturers whose classes are already full to accept them. You know, it, it's kind it'll be easy. Will there not be any problem if students accept the answer? No, you know, when we say, when the academic unit say, okay, you want to join the session? I'm sorry, it's full but they don't give up, you know, they just go on and on. So that's one of the, one of the reasons why uh, the Kulia has decided to not show the names of the lecturers at all. But the thing is, it's not uh, end of the world. Like, you know, when you get to know who your lecturers are, you have that add and drop period in the first week, right? So if you feel that, oh no, this is not, like, this is not the session that I want, you can actually drop. But then of course, don't drop before you confirm the sec other sections. Like, and, because there will be, um, you know, there's always that danger that if you drop something, you won't get another section. But anyway, just to answer Mas, your your answer, yeah, it's uh, it's by the I think different kulias have different ways of approaching it. It has been actually practiced by other kulias, but we've only this um started that in the previous tenure when I wasn't in office as well. So they have been practicing it. So I guess uh, Prof Narayan's office has continued with that. So it that's one to ensure. So it means mainly to ensure a more um, fair, in a way, distribution of the number of students to the different different sections. 
but then of course there's always the adjustments right during the first week though there will be added drops whichever yeah so but then of course we have students emailing and saying it's unfair they have the right to choose whichever yeah true you have the right to choose the lectures but the lectures have the right also not to accept you when the classes are full but many students would not want to accept that answer so i guess it's to ease everything is to ease the administrative processes that is why you just choose whichever that and another oh yeah there's another reason uh, because i've been asking so what's the reason for closing the names another reason is to help facilitate or arrange the courses meaning the time because let's say you don't have a specific class or lecture in mind okay? so you just choose the time that suits your schedule you know what i mean so you know okay this time is this next year so you already have your your schedule there so it's uh, more like what, what is it thing that we learn in in the corn stuff um you know like uh there's a smooth allocation of resources you know get what i mean so it's like you you allocate your resources which is your time and the classes more smoothly without any external factors affecting your decision because sometimes you have the external factor you want that particular class because of the particular lecture so other things are uh, is disrupted though so it, it will really disrupt your entire planning of everything else because you insist on having that class but if you don't know who's teaching that class so it's like a blindfold right so you you basically you set your class already that's another reason of course i'm just saying as how it was because at the time when the this ruling took place i was only the academic advisor at the time so of course i was facing questions from students they're all very angry yeah? and normally these people are not angry at the kulia they angry at the first first uh, army at the time was the, the first person meeting the students they can advise the last thing i want to choose this this is so we had to give that answer that is uh, basically what's related to us uh, close to a year and a half ago and i think they started to continue until now but i thought it was only the first year students oh sorry first year courses i, I wasn't aware i'm sorry i'm not aware of maybe i have to double uh, check lah with prof noraini uh, maybe she, only she can answer that why, why it's the entire uh, year courses maybe there's a reason for that again but i'm not aware because i'm in charge of academics hope that answers you uh, brother mas yes mom thank you yeah i think it, it it's kind of a fair and also a bit a bit not fair to the to the students i think it, it, it's, it's in the best interest of the lecturers and the students as well my tip is register fast i mean that's the only i know it sounds very lame and boring but the mm. faster you uh, you not practice the you're able to then you have the pick but i know it's difficult huh? i mm. know that the the it's like going to war battle to to choose the classes but yeah, i think this, sorry i think i think that's why students call it the pre reg war so it's actually <laughs> Yeah, last time there's the war. The war was because they wanted they already have the lecturers' names or whatever, right? So the war was even more intense. Now, since you don't know the lectures are, the war is less intense. Whatever you're feeling now, it's just hmm, like maybe it's not as bad as before because you can still register and because you don't know whose sections, whichever. So now the only factor that determines your choice is the time and the day. Last time was the time, day, and the lecturer. So in a way, we're hopefully like I know it, may, it sounds really unfair, like, but we're like taking one variable out of your decision making. So you're only like left with only two: the time and the day. Right. So thank you, Brother Mas, and thank you, Dr. Izani, for the clarifications. Uh, next questions. Move to the next questions. Is there any next questions they want to be raised by the students? So I believe uh, everywhere. I I really hope that uh, the silence indicates that <laughs> uh, there are no problems. No problem or too blur to ask. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that that's what 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 I pray. So <laughs> I hope that the silence uh, indicates the 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 satisfaction of the students. Of course, it is hard to adapt to the new uh, mode. Things before this, we are from physical, and then we need to fully online, and then right now we are in hybrid. 
well, of course, uh, inshallah, if things go uh, by the way uh, currently, so inshallah, the next semester will be fully physical. So, sorry, Amirul. Uh, sorry. Um, which class just now, brother? Alamak, brother, my brother, tadi, level four. What room was uh, it? Do you remember? Four point berapa? Four point eight. I'm not mistaken. Four point eight. I'm not mistaken. Is okay, that right? Just got a response. Apparently, um, in level four, they didn't have budget to go up there. That's why. That's why you're experiencing all those things. I hope the answers. But yeah, they're getting into it. They're trying to. Uh, you know, it, they, of course, the objective is to get all new projectors before the semester starts. And mm -hmm. then we go that by level. So they did by level one, level two. So it's it's coming. It's coming on the way. Level three and level four. So, but it's good that you bring it forward. So I'm just sharing. Right. So I hope that because the brother already left oh, okay. since he already asked the questions. So yeah, as mentioned by Dr. Izani, the 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 renovation will be done in stage. So inshallah, the next stage will be the third floor and the fourth floor. So I think if there are no any questions, because we have given you the platform to raise your questions. Uh, perhaps we can end our session today uh, a little bit earlier since the students are quite uh, silent compared to the last two town hall. Inshallah, the next town hall can be done uh, hybrid. So it depends on the availability of uh, our deputy dean, of course. So it's at six o'clock around now. Okay, Jay, if online, because I think many of our students are not even here again, okay? especially those students. Um, mm, the which, international students. Uh, yeah. That's the main reason uh, we are having it online at the moment. I if understand. many of us are on campus, sure, we'll have it on campus. All right. So, last round, is there any questions that want to be raised by the students? One, two, okay, three. So, there are no questions. Inshallah, we can end our session today with a uh, photography session first, and then after that, we will end with uh, a <laughs> big surprise. But all of the students are not opening their cameras. Okay. okay. So, one, two, three. All right. So, thank you, Dr. Iziani. Okay. Thank you, all of the students who spend your time uh, joining our town hall today. Okay. May Allah bless all of you. Okay, all, all right. the best. See all right. you next month. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank yeah, you, Madam. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you.